what badging is basically is just like, why do I do it? Because it gives students kind of a, like a hurdle that they can pass over and actually get, um, you know, just a stamp of approval for completing it. So I am actually playing around with a couple of different ideas in badging. I have badged, so I have um, an accounting course. I teach accounting, right? Yay, accounting, right, Howard? So, um, <laughs> so the way that the uh, summer course is broken down is that I have three sections, um, each covering about four chapters each, and they um, so they will get a badge after each section is complete. So that's the way that I implemented it in the in the one course. As I move forward, I might actually look at giving them a badge just for completing the course as a whole, right? But I have to kind of get my students on board with why they even want a badge. So the, it's a, like, it's a work in process. This is not a, this is not a, a, a set in stone kind of thing. This is just me being crazy about figuring something out. Okay. But I really like the idea of badging. Obviously for those of you that were just on a second ago, I just got certified in Microsoft office. So I like these little tools and these are things that you can actually put on your LinkedIn profile, right? So through the loft, for example, um, Katie put together a series of courses in YouTube capturing and screencast-o-matic and all these other kinds of things. And I passed all those, classes and loved it. And then it threw it, then I put it back up on my LinkedIn profile. So now you can see that I'm certified in Word and Excel and Screencast-O-Matic and, you know, some other things, right? So it's kind of a show and tell kind of thing. So anyway, okay. So badging in Canvas. All right. So um, let's see. I don't even know what screen you can see. See, this is so screwy when you have, okay. So what do you guys see? Do you see I think you I see the two. We see both your presentation and your next slide. I think I need to go and share a different screen. So I'm going to you have two monitors. Yeah, I have three monitors. Yeah, but we're not going to talk about that. Yeah, there you um, go. Uh, <clears throat> so anyway, so um, so badging in Canvas. Actually, this is a 3D image, you guys, in PowerPoint. They now have 3D images. Okay, so just so you know, do you see how it's kind of on the side? Okay, so this is the this is an, an example of a badge that I completed actually for the TSI Institute. So I'm working with. So those of you that went to this, I'm working on getting you a badge for completing the TSI. Okay, so this is kind of an idea. This can be put up on your LinkedIn profile. You can share it on social media, you know, whatever. It's just kind of a, of a thing in completion. So um, I wonder actually, um, so I talked about why badging, right? And then, because I think it's important for us to have, you know, certificates of completion for doing things. Um, so anyway, so I talked about how I decided to, you know, how do you earn a badge? Do you earn a badge for completing a project? Do you earn a badge for completing something for, you know, uh, completing a section or maybe completing a course? Um, so I'm going to kind of walk you through the steps. These are basically the steps because I wanted to like not get you overwhelmed, but you have to add an app, a badging app. Then you have to create a badge like I showed you on the previous thing, like this is creating a badge. And where do we do this, Katie? I'll give you one guess. Oh, Canva. Very good. Okay. Oops. So you do that in Canva, right? And then you add it uh, in Canvas as an external tool to be able to give them a badge. And then I'll show you the dashboard. Okay. So I don't know. Do you want me to like actually walk through how to do it in Canvas, Katie? Would that be like better than Cause it's up to you. If, yeah, you want to show us if you want to show it to us in Canvas, but it look, looks like you spent time on these slides. So I know I did. Yeah, I did. So I'm actually gonna. Sh I shared these slides with Katie, and then um, so I'm gonna kind of walk you through this, and then there's like a leaderboard, and then um, I've actually given you a YouTube video that lasts 11 minutes or 13 minutes, which is probably five times as long as it should, because Katie always does them in two minute segments. But this is the entire walkthrough of what I'm going to give you. Okay. So what I'll do is, let's see, bring up one of my screens and then I'm going to move it over here. Okay, and then I'm going to move my controls down. All right, so what one is this? That's UCSD. Which one is this? Oh, here's San Diego State. Okay, so here's my development shell. So I actually haven't done badging in here. So the first step is actually to go to settings. 
And from settings, you go to apps. And if you've never been here before, don't worry because it's not too scary. Um, but here you're going to type in Badger, right? And I'm going to actually bring this up because I sometimes need help in remembering what to do. Okay, so Badger. So I'm going to go to this Badger US, not the pathways, but the this thing. Okay, and then when it comes up here, it says, oh, go to Badger because you're going to need a secret key and something else. So anyway, so if you go over here, it launches you into the website, which I don't really like. So I just go to Badger because I, I'm going to need to kind of toggle back and forth between the two of them. So when you go to Badger, this is like one of the issuing, what do you call it? Like an issuing, a badge issuing place. Okay. So then I'm going to sign in. If you haven't, uh, if you haven't, um, signed into Badger before, which you probably haven't, then you'll create an account, okay? But I already have an account, so there's my account. You want to make sure and use the same email that you're using in Canvas that you use here, right? So um, you can see that these are the badges that I have created, right? So um, I'm going to go over here. Okay, so my backpack, actually, this is kind of interesting because Katie, do you recognize these? Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice. Those are our lock badges. Mm -hmm. so, so Katie used Badger. And so me as a student came into her Canvas course and I did the things that she wanted me to do and I earned these badges. So this is kind of a good example of what your students will look like when they actually earn a badge that you issue. So Katie issued me some badges and I shared these. You can share these like this. You take this and you put it on your LinkedIn profile. Okay. So <clears throat> anyway, um, so I'm going to go, Oh, first of all, so to get this into canvas, I have to go up to my name and under here, it has apps integration. So you don't have to worry about remembering all this. I'm just going to kind of run you through this because my, if you want to do this, you can either contact me or watch my video, which you're going to have both access to both. So here's my canvas LTI. So the things I'm going to need are a consumer key and a shared key secret. So I'm going to go copy this and then I, you're going to see what, oops, not this and not, and not this. How about this? Okay. So now, so I, I was in Badger. I got my consumer key. Then I came over here and I'm going to add the app. And the first thing it's going to ask for is that consumer key. So I'm just going to copy paste that in. The next thing it wants is my shared secret. So I'm going to copy that and put that right here. Okay. So then I'm going to add the app. So now I have the app, all right, and you can see it right here. And then I'm going to go back to my navigation and make sure, let's see, where is it? Badging. Oh, there's badges. And I'm just going to make sure that it's on my um, thing, these controls. And then I save it. Okay, so that was all you had to do to get badging in there, all right? So then when I come back over here, for some reason, the badging thing wants me to tell it and I don't know why I have to do this but it, it wants me to tell it which server is close to me so I just click the US and I don't even know what that does but I just followed the directions for once in my life okay and then uh, I'm gonna do this why are you over here sdccd.edu edu and then continue. When, oh, okay. I may or may not have to spell right. Oh, Lord Almighty! All right, hold on. Okay, so Julie, really, if you want to, you could just switch over to one of your courses that has it. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah, well, I just got my verification code. Oh, okay. I didn't know if you. Zero, sometimes those take a sec. One, one, four, nine. There we go. Yeah, that happens pretty quick. Okay, good. So now it, and then it just takes me back here. So I kind of don't like that because it doesn't take me back to Canvas, but you know, whatever. So I'm going to take myself back to Canvas, back to that course, 
And now I basically have Canvas and that course linked up. So those are the things that I've had to do to just get badging in there, okay? Alrighty, so then uh, the next step is really to create a badge, right? And that is done in Canva, and I'm not gonna go through that because I don't have time and because that's a whole different thing, but I do explain it in the video that you basically will create any kind of a badge that you want and have it look whatever you wanna say. And so, um, like all my designs, so I have some badges that have already been created, right? So like there's a badge, there's a badge, there's a badge, right? So I, you can make them look however you want. It could be square, it could be a circle, it could be anything. But anyway, that's a Canva discussion and I'm just gonna say that I already, you know, I kind of already have that, all right? So there's some custom dimensions in Canva and then, okay, so now I've got that going. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to my modules. So, so far I've linked up Badger, I've created a badge in Canva. I don't want you guys to lose me here. And now what I'm gonna do is, let's say I want to create a badge so that after they create, after they complete section one, they're gonna get a badge, all right? So there's some things they have to do for section one. So then I'm gonna come over here. Section one is a module. And yes, section one is a module. Mm -hmm. Right. And so what I'm going to do is say students must complete all of these requirements and then you add all these requirements or they must complete at least one of these requirements. So, for example, if you have them reading some things and participating in a discussion board and maybe taking a quiz, you can have it select all of those things need to be completed or just one of them. And then how do you want it to be completed? Right, so it will actually, do you see how it has all these assignments and all of these pages? So for example, you and I are walking through pages in our buddy course. And so Katie could have set it up so that you have, you have viewed each of the pages in a module. And as soon as you view all those pages, you would get a badge after that. So that's kind of how that works. Um, this, the only gotcha I have found, because it's trial and error and I'm not afraid to fail, and I kind of failed on this one, is that this is actually a publisher exam that they have to take. And it does not recognize scores from a third party. Because what I had previously done is said, submit the score. I could have said, you have to score at least X percent, but it wasn't recognizing the scores from the third party. So I have a little bit more work to do. So what I did is I just changed it. So I said, all you have to do is view the item, which means that the student would have to click on that assignment, which takes them out to the third party, and then they'll get the badge. Okay. So for me, this more was more about completion than about a success rate. Okay, so anyway, so I changed it in my other course to view it. And then once they did that, they were able to do it. Okay, so now I've got, so this is a rule in this module, right? And then the last step, I promise this is the last step. I know this seems confusing, but that's why I made a video, is um, you'll want to add an external tool. And here's your badger that you hooked up, right? And then you'll add the item. And down at the bottom, you can, I changed the name because what they have to do is go in here and if they click on it, uh, click on it, claim your badge here. Okay, I already have it. Okay. And once I publish that, then what they do is they will click on here. It has a box. And as soon as they click that box, they will get that badge. Okay. So where they'll see that badge is they also have, because this is enabled, they have a badges um, link and it will show them the badge here, okay? So I think the only step I missed was that um, I have, so I'm gonna show you my other course because there's, let's see, it's in my, this course right here. So in my badges, I have listed, wait for it. Okay, so I've said once you complete section one, you get this badge and the badge says that section one is complete. After you complete 
uh, section two, you get another badge, section three, another badge. And then I have a, a, I have a career exploration called You and Your Future. And I have them get that badge. So that's what the badges look like. And that's what I've set up in the Badger application to say you get these badges. And then, so that I don't FERPA myself, what it looks like, because <laughs> I won't show you student names, right? Because everybody will get upset if that happens. This is what the screen looks like. So under the leaderboard, I can see which students have completed which of the sections and which badge they have gotten. Okay.